time to talk about the villain, the one who th- there's just so much emotion, whether it's like glee or just anger or boo. I mean, it was just Dylan Brooks is always something. And I th- thoroughly enjoyed every single second of it. I thought he was he made this this team and this tournament really fun. And the fact that he was awesome in the face of just unrelenting criticism all summer. You know, the Rockets feel like fools for signing him to such such a contract. And then he goes out, he's 58% from three, hits some of the biggest shots in this in this uh, bronze medal game and helps deliver something that's never been done in the history of Canadian basketball. It's Dylan Brooks. Uh, tell me about just your your experience watching Dylan in this tournament. You know who else thoroughly enjoyed Dylan Brooks play? Uh, it was Dylan Brooks. <laughs> Dylan Brooks. Uh, he, he had a great time. It yeah. looked like uh, I wasn't I wasn't in Indonesia or, or Manila, but uh, like I think Shay w- was almost expected. They needed a second guy. Yeah. Uh, in in that Spain game, uh, in that game against the States, and he was the second guy. Like he, you know what. Not to the same extent. A lot of it came from the perimeter. But what R.J. B- Barrett was with, you know, his, his left hand, Dylan Brooks was sort of going downhill with his right hand a little yeah. bit. Just when they started reacting to the shots he was making. Um, obviously, like, he got in foul trouble a few times early in the tournament. Uh, that's always going to be his biggest calling card is is the physicality of his defense. And, and, you know, before the tournament, there was the question of, like, would the FIBA style actually help him? Because they maybe let a bit more off-ball physicality go, uh, or would his reputation still follow him there? And I, I don't think there's any conclusive answer to that. As I said, he was mm-hmm. in a lot of foul trouble, but yeah. uh, I mean, he certainly did a job in in a bunch of those games, and and the shooting, like he hits the game tying shot against Spain. Uh, he hit. <laughs> In overtime, he just had, like, I think he went at Austin Reeves, so it was just sort of a matchup thing, but he just attacked him and went, like, right over him for a 12-footer, like, I said uh-huh. Dylan Brooks, which yeah. is, like, Dylan Dylan Brooks' like dream moment, probably. <laughs> it was, like, I, so, think, so much no, 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 yes energy around that particular and shot. And I think, like, that's where some of the criticism of Brooks comes from. It's not only, like, the struggling shooting and not only the, the stuff where he's, like, you know, talking about LeBron or whatever, but he's mm-hmm. consistently wanted to try to do a bit more, uh, yep. a bit more. And whatever, you know, the basketball internet or intelligentsia, whatever you want to say, just gr- think somebody, you know, this sort of happened to Jeremy Grant too, when he went to the Pistons from from Denver, obviously mm-hmm. much diff- different player, different personality, but whatever, it's like, oh, that guy you know, wants to do more and and he's not prioritizing winning or whatever, you know, he's getting a bit over his skis. Like it's easy to poke fun at that, at that guy. And Dylan Brooks has done a lot to contribute to that cause. And I think ultimately, as I did with Jeremy Grant, like his best role is going to be as like a defender. And if he can, make open threes that's awesome but like he proved this tournament he can make some open jump shots whether they're threes or long twos i i don't know what you know his his career numbers aren't overly flattering to him uh but he's one of the best defenders in the world like that's really never been in doubt that's mostly what he wanted to remind people of and you know for houston that needs an identity that needs to start more than even winning, like appearing that they give a crap. I think like having that energy in there, as long as, you know, Ime Udoka and and the Houston brass are able to channel it correctly. It's like a good energy and sort of a a counter to Fred Van Vliet, who's very much like, watch me play. Yeah, I'll talk, but like you watch my habits and Mm -hmm. Dylan Brooks, not that he's not a hard worker. He's obviously a hard worker. Nobody, you know, you don't get to where he has without working hard, but he he's a guy who will gleefully talk the talk and, and maybe he yeah. can, after a few painful years, he can get some of those Houston guys to believe in themselves uh, and believe what they could do collectively. But 
you know, to me, he was one of the stories of the tournament, probably yep. deserved to be second team in, in terms of the tournament all-stars, but, you know, who really cares about that? Uh, he was awesome. Great tournament. 